Hello, welcome to the Peaceful Wood Turner. This is a piece of, well, I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's wood, but beyond that, I don't really know what kind of wood it is. It might be a piece of the hickory that I had before, but I'm not remembering, and the bark's not really helping. So, if you have any idea what kind of wood this is, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I've got a couple other feelers out, but we'll see. I might even know by the time I post this video. But, either way, it's a really cool piece of wood. It's got a lot of twists and turns in it. Woodpeckers have been at it, so I think the grain inside should be really pretty. This is what I uh, parted off to make it flat and smooth on the end, and you can see the grain does really prominent ovals as opposed to round, so this ought to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to get it down to round, and then I'm going to see if I can make it into a vase, a small vase. So I'm st starting at a relatively low speed, around uh, 900 RPM. As always, this is found wood. Be very careful with found wood. Wear all your safety gear. Go over it really well. Uh, this doesn't have any nails or screws or wires or anything in it that I could find. Uh, it's been in isolation for a while. And just make sure you wear all your safety gear, your uh, face protection, head protection, dust collection, etc. So obviously I've changed my camera angle. I drilled out here so that I have a good uh, open space in the center for me to work with. And I'm just gonna start hollowing out now. I'm going a lot faster now. I'm going closer to about uh, 2000 RPM.
I'm going to reset the camera angle because you're just looking at my hand. There we go. It's hollowed out about as far as I can get it safely. You can see that I'm starting to dig into the kind of cracks and stuff that are here. I can actually see light through from the outside. So that's about where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm still not good at getting that final pass and really getting these smooth tool marks. So it's going to take a little bit more sanding than I want to do, but that's okay. You can see I need to do a bit of sanding on the edge too. So I'm going to switch everything out and I'm actually think I think I'm at the point where I can sand. I was thinking about hitting this with a skew on the outside a little bit more, you know, just along the outside, but I think with these cracks and stuff, I'm safer just going right to sanding. So let me reset, and we'll get started on that. Okay, before I sand, I'm just going to part this down a little bit so that I have a good clear ending point. So I'm going to take it down right in there.
Okay, I'm going to start with a 120 grit sponge, and I'm going to be going a lot slower now. So ages ago I made this piece, this kind of wobbly little uh, vessel. I liked how the grain came out, I liked the different colors and stuff, and I'm noticing that this is looking very, very similar. I was told this was hickory, so I'm thinking this might be hickory. Either way, it's a good day for an experiment. So I have seen and read some things about ebonizing wood where you use uh, iron oxide, and this is the cutoff. Remember that from earlier? It really made some of the grain pop, came out with a neat color. So I'm gonna give it a try. Because I would love to experiment. Remember how that looks and see how it looks when it comes back around. This is a chemical reaction with the tannins in the wood. It's making all those little critter trails pop out nicely. All right, we'll give that a little time. We'll see how it changes. That was about seven minutes elapsed time. This is beautiful. These colors, I did not expect to see things like purples and reds and stuff in here. So I'm loving this. I'm going to part it off and I'm going to put a, a nice finish on it and we'll be done. Thank you for joining me on the Peaceful Wood Turner.